Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Go west, young man, go west. That's the message today being uh, heard in Toronto's National Job Fair. Saskatchewan's Premier, Brad Wall, is visiting to poach Ontario's coveted workforce. I don't blame him. Ontario workers are some of the best in the world. The Premier loves to boast about his retraining programs. But what is the point of retraining work workers when there are no jobs? We need it both ways, Premier. The Premier will probably say that he has a five-point plan. Well, that plan is not working, Premier. It's clearly unbalanced. Before anything else, we need, we need to retain and attract investment in order to save and create jobs. We need a competitive business environment. Premier, will you adjust your so-called plan, or are you simply going to stand on the platform and wave goodbye to Ontario's workers as they fade into the sunset? Premier. Speaker, the Minister of Economic Development. Uh, sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On the contrary, uh, it is in fact the case that on, it is Ontario uh, that the government is coming to of Saskatchewan to try and attract jobs, and that is thanks to uh, the investments and interventions uh, and the climate that has been created uh, by the government uh, through its investments in education and post-secondary uh, education. Uh, and skills and with respect to advanced manufacturing and with respect to second generation jobs. And certainly, uh, Mr. Speaker, there are also great opportunities that exist uh, between Ontario and Saskatchewan such that Ontario would become part of a supply chain and potentially Saskatchewan companies would become part of a supply chain uh, as Ontario uh, workers and businesses uh, meet the needs of Saskatchewan. Uh, it, Mr. Speaker, as far as I'm concerned, that kind of partnership would simply be a win-win for the people of uh, Ontario and the people of Canada. Supplementary. I've never thought of Ontario being a supply chain for employment for Saskatchewan. Premier, Premier the United States had a crisis a crisis last week, and that crisis in, in, in their financial markets, they knuckled down, they worked the entire weekend, and they came up with a solution. Within four or five days, they come up with a solution, with a program that they are implementing, and which has a good, oppor a good opportunity of working. In their, in their, what has Ontario done? We have a crisis of equal proportion. And yet, this province, this government, has done nothing, nothing to help solve the crisis that Ontario finds themselves into. Ontario is bleeding. We are bleeding jobs, and we are bleeding our best citizens west. What is this government going to do to solve that issue? Ah. Minister of Municipal Affairs, withdraw the comment, please. Minister, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, uh, they deregulated in the United with all due respect, I'm not sure the member uh, is willing to accept the fact that Ontario companies are a part of a global supply chain, uh, and surely the member would not want us to uh, reach out internationally to be a part of this supply chain through uh, high knowledge, uh, high quality uh, manufacturer and services jobs internationally, and not also reach out. Nationally, I hope he's not hoping for a recession. I, I know that Minister Pupatello, the Minister of International Trade, will be doing that work internationally. And just as we will build on the success of our agreement with Alberta, we want to, in fact, tell create Harper, even more linkages between Saskatchewan businesses and Ontario businesses, because that will mean more Ontario jobs, more Ontario products, and more Ontario prosperity. And Mr. Speaker, if that party is against that, that's fine, but that's, this government is in favour of that. Yeah. 